All right, what's going on? It is December 19th. We got six days till Christmas and check it out. I don't think it's gonna be a white Christmas, but it's a great time to get out here. I'm gonna pull all my tarps off, check out the patio, let it air out. It's supposed to get up to 44 today, 44, 41 tonight. So I'm gonna take the blankets off, let it air out, let it warm up. Um, that way it sets a lot better with the concrete. Then, check out this damage that the skid steer did. You know, nice tire marks. Obviously, it would have been a lot more expensive if they didn't do it because they would have had to do it by hand, but then the skid steer made a nice track A nice track going into the patio. Nice concrete here. There's concrete in the grass. There's rocks in the grass. Ugh. So that'll be a spring. It's a good time to get out in your yard now for those of us that have winter, that have snow that come. It's nice to get out in your yard and plan what you're gonna do next year. Next year, I know that my Scott spreader, like you can see from when you see from above, the Scott spreader leaves lines. I gotta figure that out. Why does Scott's spreader leave lines? When you do fertilizer, you can see the lines that it, every time I make a pass with my Scott spreader, it makes these lines. So I, I gotta figure that out either, figure out why Scott's does that and maybe I can do something with the spreader or just get a new spreader, I guess, and a lot nicer one. I know Scott's on the cheaper end. And I know next year I'm gonna hit the dethatch hard. I'm gonna hit it hard. All this dead grass through here, all this dead stuff. I need to get it up because I plan on getting my real mower that I got. I plan on getting my real mower out and getting this sucker down nice and low. So it's good to get out here. I'm gonna undo the tarps, blankets, we'll go from there. Check it out. Had the, I had the blankets on there for, it's been three weeks. Three weeks, had them on there the whole time. Uh, took them off there to breathe a little bit, you know, when it was a nice day or whatnot, but it did pretty good. I do not see any pops. No pops, no cracks, no, uh, never looked like it froze and, and made, it, made uh, one of the rocks shoot out, pop out, you know? So yeah, pretty pleased with this. Looks awesome, looks so cool. Um, you could definitely tell there'll be some yard reno along the edges. I'll have to get a new edge going. Um, this whole area has gotta be cleared out. I get all the rocks out of the grass and rake it. That'll be a good spring project. First spring project of the year. So, yeah, I'm just gonna rake up what I can right now. Enjoy the nice day and get ready for Christmas. I was gonna mow today, but since the last mow, there hasn't been very much growth at all. So, no need to do that. Next year, I wanna get my soil test done right away. I want to um, dethatch right away, hit the dethatch hard next year. I got some projects for some garden boxes. I've got some projects for my shed to get a lot more organized. I need to get a arborist out here for my maple tree. 
to let me know what to do with the roots that are going through the grass. Some roots are getting exposed. I don't want to just chop them out. I want to see what, what to do. I think this is the original maple tree, so it's probably 20, 18, 20 years old. Um, it's starting to look a little, it's got a little cracks in it. I want to get an arborist out here to tell me what I can do to make it better, do with the roots. It's going to be a great 2021. Glad 2020 is over. And we will see you next time. And always remember, the grass is greener on the side you take care of. See you in the next one.